Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be comparing a silver bar with a copper bar. Now, before we go any further, I'm not a financial advisor, so do always do your own research before making any investment decisions. Now, before we get into this video, I'm gonna start by saying, comparing these two metals, in my opinion, is completely pointless. It's very, very irrelevant. They're both completely different metals. Silver is a precious metal. Copper is a base metal. So we're going to get the silver bar out the way and we're definitely not going to be comparing the two because like I said, I think it's very pointless to compare the two. So instead, we're going to be talking about copper and explaining my thoughts around copper as an investment and why I picked up these copper bars. So I first discovered copper bars and copper as an investment in general by watching one of Tangible Life's YouTube videos. I will put a link to his video in the description below. And I found it very interesting that he had brought some copper bullion and he had made some great returns on it. It had gone up in value quite considerably since he purchased it. And that's what made me kind of pique my interest and start looking into it. Now, I've done a bit of research into copper bullion and I found that over the long term, it has performed very, very well. Now this graph goes all the way back to 1960 up until today. Currently, copper is sitting at around about $3.60 per pound, and that works out to be around three pounds in the UK. And you can see that on that graph, it shows there was a large spike around the year 2000. Now, I haven't done any research into why that was. So if you know about the reasons why there was such a big spike in 2000, I would be very interested to hear. So please do let me know in the comments section if you know why there was such a big jump from the year 2000 in copper prices. Now, I've picked up 181 ounces of copper in total and that cost me £289.31 and that works out to be £1.60 per ounce and currently copper is sitting at 0.23 cents which is 19p per ounce so you can see when you buy copper in bullion form it has a very very high premium I picked up a number of one kilogram copper bars I've also got a tube of copper coins on the way and we will do a separate video going through the copper coins that I got because I've got some really nice designs but for now we'll just stick to talking about the bars so I've got a number of concerns with copper as an investment the first one is when you come to liquidate I can't see it being very easy to shift these bars I don't see many for sale on the second hand market. Places like the Silver Forum, you don't often see these bars for sale. And if you do see them for sale, they seem to hang around for quite a while. So that's my first concern with copper as an investment. My second concern with copper as an investment is how much extra premium you pay for the bullion form of copper. You could walk into B&Q, for example, and you could buy a whole coil of copper cable and it would cost you a fraction of the price of one of these bars. So that's another big concern of mine, that you can just walk into pretty much any hardware store and buy copper very, very easily. It's very readily available. The positives I see with copper is by 2030, all vehicles in the UK are going to be electric. So I do see a, a stronger demand for copper in the future. Now, I don't plan to add any more to my stack. I just brought these as kind of a diversification just to have kind of dipped my toes into uh, copper as an investment. I purely want to concentrate on stacking silver. I just thought it'd be nice to diversify. I'll be very interested to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you have copper in your stack? What are your thoughts on copper as an investment? So personally, I think copper could have the potential to perform well over time. I see it as an item that's going to go up as everyday items go up in price. So as your items that you buy when you do the weekly food shop, for example, increase, I see copper doing the same simply because it is an everyday item that is brought, like I said, from places like B&Q and hardware stores and it's used uh, very frequently. So I do see it growing up in time, as does all items that you, you purchase in shops. 
it's not going to be as erratic as kind of like gold or silver where it goes up and down, up and down. I feel like it's going to kind of just be steady up the same way as like anything that you was to buy two years ago has slowly increased in price. Even like a, a chocolate bar, for example, two years ago or even a year ago was a lot cheaper than it is now. So I do feel like copper is just kind of slowly going to go up with the cost of inflation on everyday items. And it won't be as erratic as, say, like I said, gold or silver. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down. So let me know your thoughts, like I said, in the comment section below. I'll be interested to hear, do you think it's an expensive novelty item? Or do you think copper does deserve a place in your stack as an investment? As always, thanks very much for watching my videos. And I hope you have a nice day.